Developing a wildflower shade garden has numerous positive outcomes. An overlooked corner of the garden could be transformed into a tranquil haven of wildflowers and hummingbirds with just a little bit of care and attention. The need to bring light to a dark, old-growth forest section of the backyard is another compelling argument. For whatever reason, you can pick from a wide variety of colorful wildflowers that are able to grow in low light. Number 1. Astilbe. Pyramidal flower clusters in shades of magenta, pink, and white stand atop fern-like, lacy leaves throughout the middle to late summer. Varieties can range in height from under a foot for dwarfs to well over five feet for giants. Plants naturally spread over time and can be easily propagated by division. Plantings of many different kinds can be made in the shady perennial border or as a whole. Astable is typically hardy in USDA plant hardiness zones three through eight. Number two, blue wood aster. The blue wood aster is a tenacious perennial that grows in dry, disturbed settings and is partial to the woodland's edge. The plant's heart-shaped leaves form a rosette around several flowering stalks that bear lavender blue flower clusters in the fall. They are a striking late-season bloomer that wildlife and pollinating insects greatly appreciate. The blue wood aster can survive in USDA plant hardiness zones three through eight. Number three, purple coneflower. Historically, it has enjoyed notoriety as an immune-boosting tea and supplement ingredient. Coneflowers thrive in rocky, open forests, thickets and prairies with soils that range from well-drained sandy to rich. Various shades of pink to purple wide ray blooms appear individually on stalks between two and five feet tall on clump forming perennials that can spread over large regions from April through September. Typically hardy from zone three to zone nine. Number four, great white trillium. Blooms from April to June and can reach a height of 1.5 feet at a width of one foot. If left alone and protected from invading species, they will spread slowly. The scientific name for the great white trillium is Trillium grandiflorum. Moist, well-drained soil high in humus and organic matter is ideal. Maintain a steady supply of water. Zones four through eight are ideal for growth. Number five, bunch fairy. A little flower cluster with four white bracts and a green leafy frame. These small plants only reach a height of approximately six inches, yet they can develop vast colonies on the forest floor because to their ability to spread via seed and underground roots. Bunchberry, or Cornus canadensis, is hardy from USDA plant hardiness zones two through seven. Well, thanks for watching video from Catchy Garden. Don't forget to click like and subscribe button to always support our channel. You can also turn on the notification bell to get the latest videos from us. We'll see you in the next videos.